During excavations, I try to discover objects by touch, revealing the sensuousness of the material. Sometimes, art and history are hidden, thrown in a shadow, but the beauty remains intact in the eyes of art lovers. Temple of Concordia, 430 BC, and Icarus Fallen, 2011. Tourists in a surreal bridge of time between past and present. Industrial archaeology or abandoned places make me sad, but I love to immerse myself in that lost world and imagine the life lived inside. Contemporary Europe is gripped by fear, lives in a state of permanent crisis, and is terrified by all that is foreign. Only beauty will save us. Archaeology is piecing together bits of the past and discovering their original shape and use, even though they will never really be able to replicate their exact form. A 2,000-year-old monument interacts with the busy life of Rome. Past and present dialogue through the glass case of architect Richard Meyer. This photo shows the importance of archaeology in passing down history to our children. Looking at a girl making a soap bubble, I thought, I can stop time. When I was young, my parents belonged to the Archaeologists' Association. I imitate materials, trying to find meaning in a world where surface is everything. Archaeology is the act of looking beneath the surface. As I walk on these ancient Roman cobblestones in Vulci, Italy, I seem to be put into a wider historical context of past and present lives. The Lady of Elke, an Iberian sculpture from the 4th century BC, is one of the stars of the National Archaeological Museum in Madrid. What really interests me about archaeology is its presence in the landscape, from Gran Tour to Gran Turismo. We often look at archaeology only as something adventurous, and archaeologists as treasure hunters. The real symbols of archaeology are digging and documentation, leaving fiction in the background. Dolmen under a blanket of stars. The Tamarahoya area forms the biggest group of rock art on the island of La Palma, both in terms of extension and number of engraved rocks. Sicily is an island that sleeps in its beautiful and glorious past without seeing that it is producing the ruins of its future. I feel so small in front of ruins. They are our past and our history. Ruins inspire indescribable feelings and I've got them under my skin. Stopping to observe and getting lost in time suspended between past and present. That is how I felt during the shooting. The past is a mirror that reflects ancient history in constant relation to my present life. Through ancient objects, I understand the story of every object and action in today's world. 